Hi everybody, this is Scott Saad. I hope that your weekend is off to a good start. Earlier this morning, I went for my morning coffee at one of our local cafes and next to the cafe, there is a store that has been there for since 1993, owned by some fellow Lebanese. We've become uh, friends. We often stop and chat with each other. And so one of the owners and I were chatting for quite a bit of time. Uh, he was, you know, I was asking him about how he decided to open that particular store, uh, just taking time and being interested in his personal life. He has an engineering background. You would never think that he would open up a toy slash bookstore, but that's the serendipity of life. But my point here is that in opening up to people and in, in you know, being interested in their stories, it makes it easy for people to communicate with you. One, I think one of the reasons that my show has been successful is that when I hold these long format chats, uh, you can tell that uh, I'm someone who likes to engage people. Everybody has an interesting story to tell, irrespective of the domain that they operate in, whether they are scientists or lawyers or actors or comedians or athletes. And so taking the time to actually be interested in the story of another is a wonderful way to get to know someone. And as so I was walking back home with uh, one of my children and we came across uh, a couple from uh, the Comoros, uh, a island nation in, uh, from, in East Africa. He's a mathematician and his wife is a postdoc and a neurologist. And I'd originally met him a few years ago while we were watching... Uh, the World Cup, the 2018 World Cup uh, at one of our other local cafes. We got to know each other. And so we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, well, about one of his projects. Again, I was taking an interest in him and I was asking him about what he's up to. And he was working on a platform to try to promote uh, science in Africa, you know, a very interesting and laudable project. So we, we got into all sorts of uh, conversations. And then as I got home, you know, I felt invigorated by the start of the day because I just had two wonderful serendipitous chats with uh, folks with completely different backgrounds. But what what's common to all those stories is that I took the time to stop and engage with people. Uh, one of the difficult parts when people come up to me, fans, 99.9% um, .9 of them are nothing but lovely. But sometimes what happens with fans is they stop you and then they go off a you know monologue a 20 minute lecture where they are giving you their thoughts about something uh now being polite i stand there quietly and you know take it all in but then oftentimes i walk away exhausted because that's not really a good way to engage a person right i mean uh nobody signed up for being stopped and being lectured to for 20 25 minutes and so there you have it i think one of the best ways for us to always have a good day is to both bond with those with whom we know and love, but also to be open to all sorts of conversations waiting to happen. There you have it, folks. Get out there, engage people. So many interesting stories to learn about. Wish you a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Cheers.